Hello, guys. Want to pass your certification exams first time? At Exam Labs, we've got you covered. Get all the answers verified by IT experts. Over 1,000 certification exams, including Cisco CCNA. Okay, so. As you see, this video is dedicated for examlabs.com and uh, there is a lot of ads on internet, on YouTube about exam labs. And as you see from this ads, they are guaranteed that the questions provided by exam labs are 100 uh, verified by IT experts and it's very quality content and a lot of, a lot of uh, good words that uh, into provocating uh, to buy this uh, product okay and as you know from our my videos that I'm preparing for Amazon Web Services uh, uh, exam and I'm using for this a very different materials uh, from Udemy from Linux Academy from uh, Cloud Guru from uh, Quiz Labs and um, I combine these data sources and make my uh, dashboard, make my uh, machine learning specialty workspace where I put a lot of information. And uh, one day I got an email that, okay, dear, dear friend, we want to share with you a good offer and provide you with the opportunity to get a 40% discount of, of any product from our website. By using the promo code exam uh, 40 you will receive a 40% off of the total payment of, for any product of group of, uh, that you add to your cart. Okay, and as you can see in the list below, uh, we uh, expect to get a 100% real exam question. That is not true. I will show you on the next video, uh, on the second part of this video. And the next point is accurate answer verified by IT expert is also is not correct. Free VCA files for each exam. VCA files is virtual uh, uh, exam simulator file. <laughs> the situation is like this: if you buy uh, content from Exam Labs, you get a VCA file, and in order to open this VCA file, you must buy another software that able to read this kind of file. It also costs uh, money. Is uh, I will show you it uh, in the next part of this video. So, and uh, free updates and instant download. Okay, and you see the forty percent discount. Okay, I I think uh, uh, that uh, the amount of money is is yes, it's more expensive than Udemy or than uh, Linux Academy. But okay, if they guarantee that is one hundred percent real exam question and answer verified by IT expert, okay, let's try it. Why not? So then I bought then I bought uh, this content. I I used uh, the forty percent opportunity. And I got at three files, one, two, three. Uh, the first one is a premium file. This is a VCA file. I will show you a little bit later. It is a specialty training course and specialty study guide. Okay, let's start by, let's start with a uh, training course. Mm, okay, uh, I will open it in another tab. Okay, and as, as you can see right here, uh, we, 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 we see that the student feedback is 3.9 stars, is not very good. But okay, uh, for example, let's open an inter introduction to this course. And let's check it right here. Yep. Let's begin by setting some expectations. Okay. You see, this is a Frank Kane from uh, Udemy, and uh, it's quite interesting because you can buy this course from Udemy for 10 euros, for uh, for 20 euros uh, at most. Uh, it's, it's getting crazy a little bit, and you paid, uh, not you, but I paid uh, 70 euros for this content, and I get the same as in Udemy for 10 euros. Okay, doesn't matter. So the most important file for me is a premium file. This is a VCA file. I can open it up. As you can see, this is a VCA file. 
yeah and uh, my computer uh, is not able to open this kind of file so as suggested in uh, as as suggested in uh, examlabs.com uh, please keep in mind before no loading file you need to install Avanced exam simulator software to open VCA files and click here to download okay I'm clicking okay this is another website and then uh, yes I want to start it we see that we have a two, two options is a uh, basic simulator and pro simulator simulator uh, okay I'm preparing only for one uh, exam so I'm using the basic one yes this is uh, the <laughs> crazy part mm. uh, it's in total 120 euros and you can select different plans for your billing it's a 40 euros monthly rate and etc uh, etc et okay then you have to pay extra money to open these vca files that you paid before before to get it to getting this file it's crazy it's it's, it's messing it's, it's bad okay it doesn't matter so uh, i found uh, one uh, website on internet that can convert vca vca file to pdf for free and I use it it and uh, we can and I got a PDF file for converted from uh, VCA it is right here yep okay we can download it and as you can see this is uh, official uh, questions from exam lab that they guarantee that it reflects the real exam and uh, the answers are verified by IT experts and for example I found so, some interesting questions for example a question is uh, 90 uh, a machine learning specialist is planning to create a long-running Amazon elastic map reduce cluster the elastic map reduce cluster uh, will have uh, one master node and 10 uh, core nodes and 20 task nodes. To save on cost, the specialist will use a spot instances in the elastic map reduce cluster. Which nodes should the specialist launch on spot instances? Okay, and options we have uh, the first one is a master node, the second one, any of the core nodes, C, any of the task nodes, and the last one is both. Uh, uh, task and core nodes and all the recommendations uh, official recommendation tells that spot instances should be applied on the task nodes in most cases and but we see that the correct answer is a it is a master node and uh, I raised this question uh, somewhere in Udemy uh, and uh, I got the answer that uh, I got the answer that uh, this is not correct. This is not correct uh, answer from exam lab, and the correct answer should be a task node. It is a, it is a not master node. That's crazy. They're confusing, and this is not true. Okay, so the second question is uh, that uh, raised me uh, so many questions. Uh, yeah. Uh, the question is 95 uh, this graph shows the training and validation loss against the epoch for neural network the network being trained uh, is as follow uh, blah 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 okay it doesn't matter but as you see on this plot we, we get a train error and we get a validation error and uh, in uh, some points uh, in some moment uh, the validation error is getting increased and train error is getting decreased It's some kind of overfitting or something like that and which technique can be used to improve model performance in term of accuracy in the validation set yes this is validation set it is early stopping random initialization of weights with appropriate seed uh, increasing the number of epoch and adding another layer with uh, the 100 new neurons and 
I have discussed uh, a lot of with my colleagues uh, in my job and all we think that early stopping is correct answer and uh, another source is, uh, I mean Udemy, uh, Linux Academy recommend to use uh, early stopping in this kind of situation but you see the answer is C, it's uh, adding another layer with the uh, 100 neurons but I think it is not correct because we think that it's not correct because we don't know how this line behave in the next uh, uh, epochs in in the next uh, uh, in, in in future because it's getting increased and we are not guaranteed that this solution will solve the problem but if you use a early stopping for example in this moment we, we stop the training process when the drain error uh, is the lowest I think this is correct answer but based on exam lab is not correct and it's also very confusing Okay, the last question uh, for this video is question 96. A machine learning specialist is attempting to build a linear regression model and uh, giving the display a residual plot only, what is the most likely problem with the model? You see this residual plot and uh, the answer are right here. Uh, the residual do not have constant variance. Uh, the underlying data has outliers. Uh, the residual have a zero mean, the residual has a constant variance and A, the linear regression model is inappropriate, B is also inappropriate, C is appropriate and D is, uh, is also appropriate mm -hmm. and, and when we see this plot uh, we clearly uh, can state that the variance is not constant because at the very beginning we see the variance is very low but on the next epoch it's getting to increase for example right here it's increasing is quite bigger than we have on the left and I think the correct answer is A that uh, because uh, this model is not is inappropriate and the residual do not have a constant variance but based on exam lab is D the residual have a constant variance, but only, sm only small child can tell you that it's not a stable, it's not a constant variance. So, so it's getting crazy before real exam, and it's, it's I think it's confusing. And I never think uh, this kind of questions and answers uh, stated uh, to be correct in just a bad information to your brain uh, as a specialist not even before taking exam but as a specialist is you 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 ingest a wrong information to your brain so let's come let's let's come back to the main page uh, of exam labs and uh, as you can see they still provocating with uh, some discounts okay we now we have a 30 percent off uh, discount uh, that will end in 46 hours <laughs> um, I think I will not buy any more in this uh, provider and uh, I will not go very deeply in details uh, uh, where the companies came from but as I know it's the headquarter is in Panama and as you know the Panama is a good country for company for companies that want to hide uh, some taxes and is not very robust from uh, my perspective so and my experience with exam lab is, is very bad and uh, they stating uh, wrong information on uh, ads at commercials and uh, I strongly do not recommend uh, to use uh, this uh, provider I better recommend to use uh, Udemy uh, official uh, Amazon Web Service uh, readiness for the exam, uh, Linux Academy, Goose Labs and uh, create your own notes uh, but but not uh, but not exam labs. I strongly do not recommend to use it. I spent uh, three days in analyzing the questions and I now I re realizing that the answers that not all the answers but uh, some answers significant part of answers stated being uh, correct in real life are not correct so this is my experience 
if you have some different experience for uh, in taking uh, material from this provider let me know in the comments uh, that's all for today and see you on the next video so bye bye